Green Forest, Arkansas, born and raised here. I moved uh, to Seattle, Washington when I was 17 and came back when I was 50. And I um, really enjoyed being back here. My parents were raised here. They hardly left the area at all. Spent their whole lives basically here, except for going to Seattle to visit me a couple of times. And um, then my parents were, um, my dad was about um, eighth Cherokee. My mother was Osage Indian. So we had a lot of old time remedies and medications that we used in this area. And Richard, I enjoy your play. Uh, you are a wonderful harmonica player. for illnesses and diseases. This especially is something that you use when you get bit by a black widow spider or a brown recluse spider. Any kind of infection that would turn into blood poisoning. We would take the potato and then we would scrape the potato and this is going to be a poultice that you use to put on the bite. You can also use a spoon to dig out the potato, whatever comes in handy. You're going to scrape this until you have scraped just all of it. Maybe today you will put this on the bite, this half, and then for night time you could start on this one and use this half for your next poultice. You scrape this, get that all scraped out. Let's say that the sore infection would be on the back of your arm. You pile this, after you have scraped the whole potato, you pile this on and then use whatever you can. It could be, uh, it could be uh, masking tape or tape that you would use for mailing a package, get that on there and then wrap the tape around it and around it and around it so that this can't leak. You don't want this poultice to leak. You want it to soak up all the poison from the spider or an infection that you have got from an abrasion or a puncture and keep changing that maybe for four days until all the poison is out. This will work just as well as any ointment or medication that you would get at the doctor's office. I had a bite one time. The spider was in bed with me and it woke me up when it bit. So I thought it was just a, just a spider. Then when I came home from work the next evening, it was about this size that was black and blue. And I said, oh no, black widow, brown recluse was in bed with me. So I wore that all night long, this, all night long, took it off, scraped the other half of the potato the next morning, put that on from the other half of the potato, wore that all day long at work. When I got home from work, I changed it totally completely, used a new potato, and put that on. I did that for about five days. Never did go to the doctor. It has totally healed up. It was on my leg. And that is just one of the recipes that we have. Living back here in the hills of Northwest Arkansas, we didn't have a doctor in town that knew, that had the medications for illnesses, diseases, punctures, lacerations, um, poison nails, because uh, my sister got a, a nail in her hand when she was scooting on a log. Uh, no, it was a board, a two by 12. And uh, we just took kerosene from the family kitchen, from where we were building wood stove fires. 
We uh, didn't have uh, propane, we didn't have gasoline, we had the old wood stove. And we put things like kerosene on hertz, um, turpentine, things like that. <laughs> we, we would even take bark from trees and we would put that on our uh, feet. On, we would uh, boil the bark in a pan of water and then when it cooled off we would put our foot in the water to remove uh, the poison that was in our whatever part of the body it was. It was very interesting. If I could, if I just started talking about it, I would think of all these old time recipes that worked better than any um, prescription that we would get from the doctor. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <laughs>